it isn't necessary to visit the grandeur of the mountains just to go mushroom hunting. Today I visit a popular greenbelt frequented by photographers, novice hikers, dog walkers, search and rescue practitioners, and the homeless. I mean, domestically challenged individuals. The first thing I do is take the path less traveled. A lot less traveled. I haven't been to this part of the Greenbelt before, and my hopes were high to find some mushrooms. The first thing I came across was this grisly reminder that even on a local Greenbelt, one must still be cautious. After passing by the remains, I jump over a little creek, continue walking for a few feet, and then I notice something that catches my eye. So I look a little closer. And here she is, the beautiful and elusive Amanita Velosa, the springtime Amanita. Nearby is a Velosa past its prime. Let's focus on the young one. Ah, we have a gorgeous specimen here. So take a look and you'll notice that it has the one skull cap on top. This is remnants from the egg from which it burst forth. Now let's grab a shovel and we're going to start to carefully pry and dig all around the base of the mushroom. Now it's time to release the mushroom from the soil so we can see what's underneath. Gently tug, and there. Now we can take a look at the old egg sac underneath. And if you'll notice, take a look. Right here are striations all along the ridge. Almost looks like crimping. That is a telltale sign of Amanita velosa. And at the bottom, you'll see it kind of resembles a big thick marker with a thick taper. Now let's peel back the vulva because we are looking to see if there is a bulb in here. And as I suspected, there is not. The stalk stays relatively uniform and you'll notice it's a little scaly too, which can happen with Emanita velosa. Let's further examine the white stalk of the specimen. Here in the center, you'll notice a sort of fibrous gelatinous substance that would be in an otherwise hollow area of the stem. The gills of the velosa are white, and I'll show you an interesting trick here. The veil tissue on the velosa actually comes off rather easily, unlike many amanitas. It sort of peels off like an old sticker, and if you use your finger, you could even rub it off. It's very important that you analyze the color. This is a definite hen's egg brown, a nice sort of honey brown. Be wary of the white ones. This is definitely a springtime Amanita. Wait! A word of caution. The Velosa can look like two of the most deadliest mushrooms, the death cap and the destroying angel both of which have the ability to take your life within 24 hours. So be sure to give this mushroom the respect it deserves. And I don't mean the hippy dippy kind. I mean you need to invest the time in researching the death cap and the destroying angel and knowing exactly how to identify those two species along with this one before ever consuming it. Personally, I'm not comfortable with that yet. So I'm just gonna keep on hunting. And as always, be sure to leave your surroundings cleaner than you found them.